don't seem to know how to talk today, so... She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad it feeds her You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to me Hi guys! Hello! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe down below, turn on the post notifications, and like this video if you like it. If you're not new, welcome back. Thank you so much for uh, seeing this video and clicking on it. I love you all so much. You are all so sweet. Okay, I hope you're doing all good. Um, I'm good. So in today's video, I wanted to do a Q&A. I've already done one of these. If you want to check it out, it'll be linked down below or right here. Ask you guys on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do that because I've been kicking my game there. Slain it. Uh, it's at abbydal2016. It will also be linked down below. All of my social medias will be linked down below. Bring your bellhop beverage or some snack and let's get started. Okay, first question is, what do you do when you want inspiration for your videos or stories? Okay. Let me spill on some tea. I know, I love Harry Potter. I am Dumbledore, you. If you didn't know, and I already said that on my last video, I, uh, I used to write stories. I don't write now because I don't have inspiration for that. <laughs> Not that I don't have inspiration for that. I just didn't, yeah, I didn't have inspiration for that. And then we were just like, I didn't have time. And now I have time. I just didn't start doing it. I don't understand. I don't understand, bitch. I don't understand. My inspiration for uh, videos and stories, I get them from like by other videos uh, of similar content content on YouTube, or maybe I uh, just like uh, from movies or books. I don't read books that much, but and music. The other day, I was cleaning the house and I was listening to music. Two video ideas popped into my mind. Yeah. Kifesh does not the male tip for dog manage YouTube skincare, etc. So, so this question came from my dear sister. I love you. No, I don't. Shout out to you, girl. At first I thought she was kidding because she definitely knows I have some trouble with time management, but apparently she's not. So I'm gonna give my advice, <laughs> my opinion, because your girl is getting better at that. Do you hear that? Go tell mom. The trick here is prioritizing. So you need to priori prioritize your activities to know what, what is more uh, important to you. So you can work from that. You gotta do like a little bit every day because if you leave it like uh, for just a day you're gonna be exhausted and you're not gonna do the things that you wanted to do all day because <laughs> uh, I'm an expert at that and for YouTube like on this day Saturday, let's say Saturday, you're gonna plan your videos. All the video ideas that I have that I want to do, I just plan them. I have like a YouTube planner, so I divide it into two. I put on, I have a section for trailer and uh, trailers and multi and multi-couples, like all that fun stuff, like creative idea, creative videos. And then on here, I, uh, I put on the ideas that I have for videos, like these Q and A's, sit down videos, fun videos like to film and then I see what I need for every video a plan when do I want to film it or like for for videos like these I plan when I want to film it I need for it when I want to edit it put more time into editing because you never know what's gonna happen and then I plan when do I want to upload it I'm gonna talk about skincare so I don't care what age you are because or if you're you're a guy or a girl you need to take care of your skin because we have stress we have 
anxiety, a lot of things that affect us and then uh, shows in our body. You all, uh, I think you all know that to have a skincare routine, depending on your on the type of uh, skin you have. I have an oily skin. So having a skincare, like it's like a habit. So you need to do it every day. For me, I have my usual skincare, and then I have my skincare of like the weekend or Fridays were like the day that I do a whole skincare routine. Even if you don't have like uh, products, even if you didn't invest in like some products, but which like I think uh, you should invest in some good quality products for your skin because it is something that you need to take care of. Doing skincare and taking care of your skin makes you feel good. Like it makes you like feel like you're doing something luxurious let me tell you sometimes i lash out and i don't do it so the next question is what do you think of social anxiety so if any of you don't know what social anxiety is it is the fear of being like in public places you just have anxiety and it's like the fear of being judged by people or like uh interacting with people and uh, i used to have that Thinking of it now, I am an introvert, but I have uh, like um, I've become like more approachable by people because I don't know. I just like changed over the years, like back in high school and uh, the years before that, and even in my first year at college, uh, I had social anxiety. Not only me, like my best my best friend too, um, but having social anxiety we just we didn't like it when we were like in a uh, in a big like in a crowded place we would just have like uh, we'd be like stressed and nervous and we wouldn't know what to say like the first my first year of college since i was only with my best friend and we didn't know any anybody else it was a rough time like uh, but it was a good year we had classes together, but then like uh, we were at Tede, we, we didn't have those together. I think social anxiety is a pretty serious topic. I feel like uh, it doesn't let you get out of your comfort zone. Like, you'd be thinking, you'd be stressed out, you'd be um, like in your own world and you wouldn't know what does it feel like interacting with other people. and that's. To be honest, interacting with other people, knowing what they think, their opinions, like their point of views of uh, a lot of things, that's a pretty good thing. Like your, that's like what life is about. If anyone has social anxiety, I advise you to uh, be friends with people who are extroverts. So um, the thing that got me out of my comfort zone, and I am more approachable by people, and I talk with people at first time. I'm not too scared to approach uh, anyone so i think what got me out of that uh, that phase of my life it was becoming friends with people who are extroverts so if you become friends with like someone who is talkative and uh, knows their way in in, uh, in a crowded place and uh, that like that would help you and then like you see that it's not really a big deal to like make uh, a little effort talking to other people talking to strangers and having fun having fun conversation knowing what they think about what they're like maybe you you even meet your longtime best friend in a crowded place or something like you'd be missing out on a lot of opportunities if you if you think about it just try to like uh, do little things that would get you out of your comfort zone and that that could count like but it's not like a thing that will change by day and night but it is something that you work on if you believe in yourself and you want to do it so that's that how do you deal with people's judgments so uh that's something that i'm working on we're trying to better ourselves. I think the best thing to do is for you to have confidence in yourself. That's like the big thing that if you have 
self-confidence if you love yourself and uh, you know what you're doing you know what you're doing is not against your religion that's the first thing like God wouldn't be upset at you if you do it or uh, like uh, it's acceptable by your um, your your parents like that's the thing like first thing is God and and your parents and self-confidence self-love like you need to work on those for you to not think about people's opinions I think that's how I deal with it you do you because people will always judge you and to be honest some people judge you because they're they are jealous of you like and they try to put you down but if you help have self self-confidence that wouldn't even affect you vous êtes venu l'idée de faire des vidéos sur YouTube. Sinon, bonne continuation, ma belle. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. Uh, you said to ask how did I get the idea of uh, doing videos on YouTube. So, um, back in, uh, I think, 2000, yeah, I started, I opened my channel in 2015 and I first uploaded my first video in on uh, April, I think April 1st, 2016. So growing up, I always watch YouTube. I've loved it. I, my like my fave, my OG, like OG YouTubers, my favorite were Meredith Foster, Alicia Marie, and I still love those like OG fan over here. And I've always found myself like, you know, <laughs> We all done that in front of the mirror or like uh, I've always done that like in front of I sit in front of the mirror and then I will be just like hey guys welcome to my channel blah 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 so I've always like wanted to try out like what it's like to uh, be on YouTube first I I wrote stories on uh, Kotip I saw a lot of uh, people, like creators on YouTube, do like these kind of trailers for, for these stories because like for a film, like you're gonna watch a film, so you, they have its trailer but like story, stories, you just read it and imagine it like how the story is going so other creators like put that thought into a, a video so like they presented the story by like uh, their style like they would pick the uh, character they would pick like the actors for that book and then they would do a video so I really like that and um, I started doing it first the first video that I ever posted I'll leave the link in here was the uh, trailer for my story my first ever story it was called lush life i don't even know why did i call it like that i think it was uh, inspired by zara larson's song lush life and it was a teen wolf fan fiction so i did a trailer for that i did it with windows movie maker so i didn't have i didn't have an editing software i had no idea what i was doing and if you watch it it's like it's not that good but i still love watching it at this point only my friends knew that i have a youtube channel because i didn't know what i was doing i didn't know what my mom would think of it or anything like that when i uploaded it i really liked like doing these videos these videos it was fun to like get creative and bring these uh, characters together into like one big trailer like that like in real life that doesn't exist but um it was amazing to bring actors that didn't act together and then put them in one video i don't know if you know what i'm talking about but it was really, really fun to make these videos editing them and stuff like that and then my first ever appearance like on a video it was uh, a video for cameron dallas like uh, a happy birthday thing and it was like a tradition for me to do it i did it in 2016 17 i think 18 i don't know i like have two videos of those or three you never acknowledged them obviously um i really like don't care about subscribers views or money i don't even get paid i don't even have enough subscribers i want to like i want to be viral and have the world look at my videos and my like 
my work but that will take time and effort but I really don't care I just like love making videos and editing them so that's that the question is what's your fave movie so if you know me you would know that I am a movie like I'm obsessed with movies and TV shows like I've watched everything almost everything that's a very hard question but uh, if I had to pick, I would say Love Rosie. Uh, my like my favorite genre of movies is a, a little bit of everything. I just don't like uh, like science fiction. Like I don't like it a lot. What is the time? When did I like started wearing hijab? So I started wearing hijab in uh, Ramadan 2017. So that was uh, before entering like my uh, third year at high school. So it was like a bak. Your favorite childhood memory? My favorite childhood memory. I don't think this is one of my favorite, but when I was in I was in uh, primary school. I used to be obsessed with Barbie, like who wasn't, but uh, I used to watch a lot of movies of Barbie and I thought they were real. Me and my friends would do the things that Barbie did in the, in her movies and I got, I really, I was, I was crazy. And my, my, my mom would be like so angry with me. Next question is who inspires you? So my inspiration in life, huh? I have a lot of it, like inspiring people in my life, like other than YouTubers, because like to say YouTubers, you YouTubers, YouTubers, uh, the people who inspire me are Alicia Marie because she's a boss. I love Lily Collins and who else? Lana Condor. These girls are like so inspiring and. Uh, in real life, like my mom is my, my mom and sister are my inspiration because they are two independent girls, women, I mean women. They are two independent women that are so inspiring. They, they, I don't have to talk about it, but they are an inspiration. Much love. Do you think Tish gets thirsty? <laughs> Girl, I'm not that, that smart, but no, I don't think it gets thirsty. Like, they live in the water, so why would they get thirsty? Uh, best series or series you ever watched so far? The best series I've ever watched so far? Uh, I think it's dark. Like, my, my uh, one of my friends told me to watch it, and I didn't know it was a... Thank you. I didn't know it was a German uh, series, with the, but it has English subtitles. Uh, it is very cool. Like it's drama, mystery. It's about these, uh, like uh, a town, a German town, where like supernatural things happen. There's like a tunnel, and they go back in time. Like I'm still on season two, like episode, I think four. Still trying to understand things. It's a good series. Like. I suggest it, like go watch it. Uh, your favorite song or playlist? I will leave my favorite playlist down below because I don't have a favorite song. I just, I get obsessed with a song every week. Uh, can you sing for us a song? We'll see. How tall are you? So I think I'm between uh, 169 and 170. This one was funny. Algerian, Algerian C and Algerian girl, are you single? <laughs> That's very accurate, like in Algeria. If a guy sees your photo, they'll be like, are you single? In a very um, sneaky way. Yes, I'm single. <laughs> Fun fact, I've been single my whole life. Like, we try to do it the halal way, girl. I have some questions from TikTok because I like I post it on all my social medias. First question was what's your favorite color? I love blue, black, pale pink, and green. Okay. 
think that's it. Uh, the other question was, do you play Minecraft? Nope, I do not. The other question was, uh, do you watch anime? And another question was, if you watch anime, what's your favorite anime? I don't watch anime, like with all due respect to all anime watchers, I just don't like it. So these are all the questions for today. If you like these kind of videos, let me know. And if you have any questions, but ask me down below or in my social media. I'm on Instagram, Instagram a lot. If you have any video suggestions, please, please let a girl know because I'm trying to film my videos since I'm home. I wanted to, to, to see if um, I had an idea of uh, filming a day in my life, quarantining kind of video. So if you want me to do that, let me know. This is the end of the video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications because I am trying to upload. I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Have a good night, day or evening or whatever the time is over there. And thank you so much for watching. Love you. Bye. I am bad day. Hello, Firwakum. Allah Rabbi, I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be sad.